All righty, we're pleased to have on today two gals from Saskatoon, have been working hard in the community of Saskatoon, growing the game of golf for ladies. New business venture on the horizon. Pleased to have on today Morgan Favel and Megan Shep. And thanks for jumping on the podcast today. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Absolutely. Okay, so first question right into it. Um, passion for golf, where did it come from? Um, walk us through it and both of you. Morgan first. <laughs> okay, so I got into golf from an ex-boyfriend that brought me into it four years ago. And then with COVID happening last year, my son and I, we played almost every single day. And then I found golf and tacos and I just rolled with it. Love it. Megan? Yeah. I have a similar story, but I've actually only been playing for a year. Uh, in the last year, I did play over 100 rounds, but I've only been in it about a year. Um, yes, that's that's the facial reaction. You don't yeah. work or oh, what? My, my hands are <laughs> sort of... <laughs> Uh, same thing COVID made me bored and I wanted a new hobby and my parents golfed and I'm a realtor and realtors in golf go together well so I thought let's pick up golf and I fell in love and then I got into golf and tacos met Morgan so met someone who also wanted to golf every second day and uh, <laughs> here we are <laughs> wow a hundred rounds and what did you play Morgan uh I stopped counting yeah <laughs> jeez I got 50 and I was happy with that what did you do you played almost 100 90? Yeah, 10 handfuls, I think. Wow. Um, okay. So we're, we're with, uh, we're with the elite right now on this podcast. Yeah. Right? So <laughs> let's walk us through. Um, obviously you guys love the game. Uh, yes. how much have you, how much have you guys seen your game grown? Obviously from playing, you know, zero times to, you know, um, a hundred. Well, because I was an ambassador for golf and tacos, I literally had a lesson once a week for the entire summer. So um, from last year, I went to par threes and I was bringing my driver with me. And now I can use like my nine iron at Silverwood for most holes. So I think that says a lot. Yes. <laughs> Quick learner. I feel, I feel like I started this year and was like, how do people par anything? Like, this is a joke. This is fake news. Nobody pars anything. And by the end of it, uh, I could finish around and par like maybe half my holes. Um, got my first couple birdies. So... I would say I, if you ask my dad, I sure changed my golf game from the first week of May to now. Wow. Okay. I love it. So, so Turner, he actually is a good player. Just started a few years ago too, <laughs> but he caddies for me in some events and he knows that I'm a head case. So when I have a par, sometimes I get pretty upset about it. So I'm looking for those birdies a lot of times, but a lot of times there's some bogeys in there. So I want to <laughs> ask, well, I want to jump into the, the golf and tacos thing. Cause one, I love uh, uh, tacos. So does Turner. And two, I like golf. Walk us through how it all works, the details. Um, is it co-ed? Is it just ladies? Uh, walk us through it. So Golf and Taco started in Calgary. The owner, Caitlin, she uh, started a new business and she wasn't able to go golf on the weekends because that's what all the men do in this company. So that's why she started it. And uh, they messaged me on Instagram and I thought it was, you know, I always get asked to be like an influencer for this and that. And I just saw the word golf. I'm like, yeah, sign me up. I don't know what this is, but I'm into it. Uh, so every four weeks you have um, a lesson once a week, or you can do the league night once a week at Greenbrier. And that includes tacos and a drink. Wow. Yeah. And so we either have lessons with Clinton at, uh, the Willows, yeah. or we play league night at Green Barracks, it's the 12 holes, and we can't really play 18 after work. Is that Clinton Schmaltz? Yes. Oh, yeah, he's a good dude. Yeah. He came on a golf course. Sure it is. Amazing. We went to a Soyuz how... in junior Pardon? golf. We went to a Soyuz in junior golf, and he was our coach or whatever. Such a yeah. good dude, and a great mm -hmm. swing. Um, he okay. spent a lot of time with us this summer. <laughs> <laughs> well, I want to know more about like so golf and tacos so you said it's four weeks right correct right yeah and now it's grown from because now there's one in regina correct there is and yes. saskatoon there's Kelowna. where else is it uh victoria I yeah I, I honestly don't know but it's it's going to be like across canada eventually like it's like we just launched their clothing line like last week nice yeah. that's so cool yeah and did i miss is, is it just for ladies or is it co-ed it's just for ladies. Just for yes. ladies, okay. But I have people messaging me all the time, like wondering when there's going to be a men's one. Yeah, cool. But you guys have thing in golf, so <laughs> give us a little room too. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Uh, Rip, why don't you uh, go ahead there? Don't be afraid to uh, ask question. Sorry. Oh, I'm just waiting here. Where are we at here? Uh, yeah, I'll be out here. <clears throat> okay, I'll do it. <clears throat> Sorry. Let's talk about the new business adventure you're up to. Uh, what's it all yep. about? I believe it's plus fours. Is that what it's called? Yes. You are right. Okay, walk us through that. I'm excited. So we felt there is a, a void in women's golf opportunities in the winter, uh, especially like a group opportunity. Like obviously, yes, there, there are some opportunities for indoor lessons, like one-on-one, -on -one, but we wanted to keep kind of the atmosphere we loved in the summer of the group. And we decided to figure out how to do it. So we've now got four week programs running for ladies at the golf dome and leagues running at our YXE golf lounge simulators here as well once a week. So we can get all the girls together, meet a bunch of new girls to haul out to the golf course this summer um, and keep, keep the group atmosphere of golf going. That's awesome. The networking is so crazy with golf. It's uh, just like how, I know like over the last two summers with me being at the Royal Regina, just, you know, meeting people and um, like even people like nowhere near my age, like I'm hanging out with guys who are over like late thirties and the forties. So golf's so good for that. It is. It's amazing. Like I'll golf alone in the mornings at Silverwood and I just meet up with like older women, older men. Yeah. And it's so nice to, you know, like with COVID happening, it's really hard to make new friends. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sometimes it's like the funnest day to just go as a group of two or a single and you have no idea who you're getting paired up with and you yeah. just end up having like a four hour day with like some of the nicest people that you yeah. would have never you met. make new friends. Yeah. Well, exactly. and, and you hope that the person talks though, because sometimes I've been people, people that just don't talk for four hours. It's like, <laughs> yeah. I'm going to spend four hours in the golf course with someone. You better be fun. Yeah. Put it that way. <laughs> See, my nerves at the beginning was always etiquette because I was so new that I was always so nervous to get with Your somebody else. My, yeah, like my first few rounds were like, no, no, I have to have a group of four because I was so scared I was going to insult someone or like not know how to play with them or like cross the rules and, and get banished from the golf course. <laughs> but turns out a lot of people just want to have fun. Well, here, one of my first times golfing, I was 13 at the Goulet Golf Course in Regina. And I, I love the game. And I didn't have golf, golf cleats. <laughs> So I, I wore baseball cleats and I was like, <laughs> just destroyed the greens, like just dance everywhere. They probably thought there was geese walking around the green, but it was yeah. me. So <laughs> just you lesson one one don't yeah. wear baseball cleats on the golf course. Don't worry about etiquette with other guys. When I caddy for Drew in the summer, I'm just chirping other players and they, they just love it. So competitive. <laughs> okay. So let's talk about, um, you know, the details of the business. Um, where do you see this in? five years well we actually already have people from regina reach out to us we want to bring it to regina next uh we're just working on women's clothes we're going to be doing a tournament aspect where it's kind of like wedding planning but tournament planning for big corporate events so we still want to do golf and tacos in the summer and then hopefully like both businesses can push the girls back and forth throughout the winter and the summer uh yeah i see it going like so far like eventually It'd be nice to have our own podcast too, maybe. Absolutely. <laughs> Ideally, we want to end up <laughs> we want to end up being your main girls in Saskatoon for any and all golf needs, whether it be tournament wise or uh, where you go for particular lessons in what season, uh, kind of what leagues are held where, when the next tournament is. Trying to get more women focused tournaments and out there. comfortable with golf. Like, and comfortable. That's our, our number no one main focus. And what to wear and where to go, which courses and which clubs to use. All right. So you guys mentioned you guys mentioned your clothing line, this clothing line twice. Where can people find it? <laughs> we're just in the works of ordering stuff right now. Okay. So we're hoping to have yes. it launching by summer. All right. I wanted to ask a question about golf and tacos again. Forgot now. God. Okay. <laughs> Let's the talk about The bigger question is how many tournaments are you guys going to come to of ours? Oh, so we're, so we're, yeah, we're, we're, allowed, we're allowed to play, right? Okay. We're allowed to come play in those events, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. Those will be cool. Awesome. Okay. We'll, we'll figure it out then. We'll get right. down there and we'll, we'll even bring tacos. There you go. We'll bring tacos. <laughs> <laughs> we'll promise you tacos. How about that? Yes. What, um, okay, here. You, so you, you both played way too many rounds of golf, which I love it. What was the, the career high 
and career low of, of the summer? I think getting birdies. Like this was my first summer getting birdies. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Likewise, obviously. I think my best game was at Greenbrier and out of 12. I think I hard six and got my first birdie out of 12. So I had a, that was a very good round. And I was very confident that night after that. <laughs> it's like, I'm the best golfer. <laughs> <laughs> so have you guys strictly only golfed in Saskatoon or have you guys went to any, any other places like Calgary and golf there? Uh, so every summer I take my 10 year old boy and we go to Golden BC. Yeah. And we just stop at golf courses along the way. It's kind of like a week long trip. So, um, I love that. Like I, and he's a good golfer too, which is so nice. Yeah. It's not like people see a mom and a little boy and they're like, Oh my gosh, you're going to be so <laughs> slow and not know how to play, but yeah. you know, it's the opposite. <laughs> he's, good. he's very good and he loves it. We actually played Deer Valley together uh, with Lyndon and our friend, Chris, and that was a beautiful course. I love that course. Oh, yeah. uh, we actually, our first kind of weekend out together was in Moose Jaw. And I did four BC trips this year and golfed every time. So I brought my clubs to Kelowna twice. I brought my clubs out to Vancouver and Victoria. Uh, I'm lucky I have friends everywhere that golf. So I, I just hauled the clubs along and got to play in the mountains a lot, which was amazing. Yeah. But that's probably the farthest I've gone was Victoria to golf so far. We're going to Waste Management, though, in, in February. Oh, my God. Nice. Yes. That sounds like no fun. <laughs> break my heart. Yeah. <laughs> Wow. So we'll be golfing there yes. and that'll be an experience. Yeah. Okay. So here's my last question. Um, so we talked golf and tacos. We, we talked to the new business and, and it's called plus fours, correct? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So what is 2022 goals for the summer and anywhere else you're going to travel? 2022 well, summer. We, summer. That, I would say we're going to be really into golf and tacos yes. and tournaments i think we want to be we want to be huge in running our own but we also want to be huge in assisting other companies to running their own tournaments i have a feeling we'll be involved in the tournament at least monthly if not like bi-weekly we loved it we ran our first one october 1st october 2nd and we had over 70 people signed up and paid in less than two weeks we had some amazing prizes. Everyone had an outstanding day. Like it, we had photographers out, like we had an, an incredible day. And I think both of us didn't realize how much we were going to love running tournaments <laughs> until we did. So we, we will be doing a lot of tournaments next year. I love it. The M&Ms. That's what we're calling you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Um, where can people, you know, sign up the, the social handles and what can we do to help you guys out? I think having us on your show is huge. Like last week we're on global this week, we're having this interview. Um, so we're just trying to plan something big every week leading up to um, our big release. Like in January, that's when the program is starting, but you can find us at our website, www.plusfours.com. And our Instagram is plus.fours. Um, yeah, just plus.fours. And that's F O R E S. Awesome. Okay. Well, we'll share everything we can for you. Um, Thank you. I don't know. Rip, you have any more? Uh, I'm all good. Okay. We had fun today. We appreciate it. And we'll Thank do you for having us. You Thanks, betcha. Guys. Okay. Take care. Yeah.